Hi everyone, welcome to our Monday night live stream. My name is Allison and I'm super excited to craft with you tonight. If it is your first time joining us, we go live every single Monday and we do a fun tumbler or other craft. And today we're going to be painting a tie-dye tumbler with the neon flippin' awesome paints. So as always, let me know in the chat if you can see me, if you can hear me. Um, I am not so sure. There's always a delay on my end, so it's always like, I hope you guys can see me and hear me. But I see that Brooke is here, Shannon, Christina, hi Kim, Melinda, hi Becky, uh, Rhoda, Rhea, Kelly Ann, Rhonda, so many of you here today on this wonderful holiday. Um, I'm super excited that you are all able to join me. I'm just going to check my phone real fast to make sure that this is working, but I'm like not so sure that it is. So let me know in the chat um, if you can see me and hear me. I think maybe it is working. Um, okay, so we are going to be painting a tie-dye. So here are the supplies that I have for today. I first, before we get started, wanted to say that next week we are doing a Tumblr design challenge. It is a four day challenge that we, I posted for the first time at the beginning of the year and it was like seriously such an incredible, um, incredible week full of so many ideas and organizing your tumblers and getting new ideas and really just inspiring you to start creating things that you really, really love and that you could be proud of. So I'm going to put a link in the chat of where to sign up for the challenge. We're going to start next um, week. And it's a really, really great experience. I know some of you here watching um, attended, la uh, you know, like maybe six months ago. And it just overall was a really great experience for you to learn about designing tumblers, how to mix and match glitters, how to mix and match vinyl and glitter and come up with designs that you love and are super proud of. So click that link to learn more about the challenge and let's go ahead and dive in. So I'm using the neon flippin' awesome paints. There are one, two, three, four, five neon colors. There's neon pink, neon coral, neon orange there's neon yellow and neon green now there it, those are the only neons that we have i'm going to be using bluebird which is a different flip and awesome paint for the blue um for the tie-dye and then i think i'm going to try to mix in some of the red uh crimson with the bluebird to whip up a purple and there's multiple ways you can do a tie-dye you can do like the spiral kind or you could do like the burst kind from the middle which is what I'm gonna do and I'll tell you why one I think it looks cool and two I'm just like really bad at drawing the swirl tie-dye it's just like it's really hard for me so if you do that I recommend taking like a pencil or um, even some of like paint you can kind of trace it out before you go but I was thinking I would do kind of like one burst over here and one over here. Um, this is going to be for my friend Becky who is watching here today. This is going to be for her. Um, I do want to talk about this tumbler as well. It's from Craft Haven. It is one of the Icy Steel um, brand name tumblers that she carries and what I really like about it is it's a 30 ounce tumbler but the bottom is smaller so it will fit in all of your cup holders. So I feel like sometimes the 30 ounces, uh, like you want it to be big because you want to be able to drink a lot of water or whatever you're drinking, um, but it doesn't fit in your cup holder in the car, which can be frustrating. So I really like this design for that. So before we get started, I'm going to gather some of my supplies. Let me know in the chat if you have any questions. Um, hi, Catherine and Valerie purchased oh you have the neon flip and awesome because you haven't used it and I do want to share um, I did a demo two weeks ago three weeks ago now um, that I'll share in the chat um, I used I did some neon glittering or I did added glitter over some neon paints um, and it turned out really really great I did a power wash on top of it this tutorial is coming soon 
Um, but there's a lot, like so many things you can do with these neons, but today we're gonna do a tie dye. So it's really awesome. Um, I really like the containers that they're in because they're super easy to mix up and you, you know, the old squeeze bottles are great, but it's so much easier to mix these up. So I'm going to take a second and just mix all of these so I'm ready to go. But the neons are so fun. They're really, really vibrant. Um, and so the, this is the pink. I'm just going to mix it up real well before I start painting. So I don't have to mix them up in between each color. I'm going to be using just like small paintbrushes from Michaels. Nothing fancy. Probably like from one of like the variety packs. Um, you know, that you get like 20 in one little package. Um, but I'm going to try to keep my brush small so I can have a little bit more control over, you know, how this all turns out. So let me know in the chat if you guys did anything fun for the Labor Day weekend, if you had a long weekend, um, if you did anything fun and exciting. We went to a wedding yesterday. My cousin got married. It was so, it was amazing. Um, I'm very tired, <laughs> but it was, it was really nice to see some family that I haven't seen in a long time. So that's the orange. I really like the neon orange. Um, hello, Lexi. I'm glad you made it from New Jersey. I would love to know in the chat if you did anything fun for the long weekend, if you had a long weekend. And all I'm doing right now is just mixing up all of my paints. So when it's time for me to actually paint my tie dye, I don't have to do this, you know, before I start painting. Um, prepared for the start of school. Oh, you guys start um, after Labor Day. My girls start preschool tomorrow, but mostly schools start mid-August around here. So, but they start preschool tomorrow, which I am very excited about. And okay. Oh, Yasmin, you got your wedding dress. That is so exciting. Oh, I bet it's so beautiful. Okay, so here is Bluebird. Oop, dried a little bit. Gross. dry paint clumps um so this is bluebird it's um it's a pretty deep blue i was actually thinking it was a little lighter but i think it'll work with the neons it's a really vibrant blue and i'm going to put a little bit in this little condiment cup so i can make purple hopefully that's not so bad I just I thought I could use like um, purple delight but I kind of wanted to see if I could use just kind of like a bright the brighter more like vibrant blue um, to get a little bit vibrant brighter purple okay I can't wait to get my paint in the mail yes hopefully it comes soon so this is the Crimson Flippin' Awesome, but I'm just thinking, like, I haven't used this in a really long time. It's probably a little, you know, dry, but it's okay. Okay, that's just a little bit of red. We'll see what happens. Need a little bit more than that. Because you guys know red and blue makes purple. So we'll see if I like the purple. It's really pretty dark. I'm not sure it's the best for this neon. That's okay, I think I might put in a little bit of gray. A little bit of like the universal gray to lighten it up. Let's see, 
we'll just see. It's like an experiment. If you want, you can use like acrylic paint. Um, I don't know. What do you guys think? It's really dark. Do you think I should just use Purple Delight? I think I should maybe just use Purple Delight. Okay, when to pick it up. Yeah, so now you, you have it. That's so exciting. All right. I'm just going to add in a little bit more of this universal gray and see how I feel. I'm going to add a little bit more red, but I think I might use the purple delight. I don't know. We can see how we feel. We can see how we feel once we get it on the tumbler. I mean, it'll, I don't know. It's kind of similar to the Purple Delight now. So maybe, maybe, maybe David and Dorinda will hop on this live and they can say, oh yeah, maybe we, we do need a neon purple. Maybe we do. Um, but you could use acrylic paint. You could use um, whatever you want, really. Whatever paints you want. So, we'll maybe add a little bit of the neon pink. Yeah, I could try that. Let's see, let's see. It's a good idea, Judy. Yeah, that could work. That could help. A little bit brighten it up a little bit I'm gonna add a little bit more all right so a couple things to remember about tie-dye There, are, if you're tie dyeing like a shirt, um, they're they're very imperfectly perfect. So don't get too caught up in trying to make it, you know, absolutely perfect. So I'm gonna start with the neon pink, and I think I'm gonna start like not like directly in the middle, but like a little bit up. I don't know. Maybe I think I might need to start in the middle. Because there's a lot of colors. It's because like if I did pink, coral, orange, yellow, green, blue, you know, like I think that I do need to start um in the middle. We'll just kind of see how it goes. I can always I have more tumblers lying around here so we could try, you know, different sizes and different things. So I'm gonna do um just like a burst. So I'm gonna start with just like a circle. And I'm going to use my paint strokes to bring it out. I'm going to actually zoom in a little bit so you can see this a little bit better. And you want them to be, you want like some to come out further than others. You don't want it to be super uniform. Um, you want it to be a little bit irregular because that's how tie-dye is. I'm just going to rinse my brush and then move on to the coral. But we'll start there and we'll see how this size works out, you know? I've never done one on this size tumbler or this shape tumbler, so I'm kind of hoping for the best here. So then I'm just going to take this next one. Ooh, this I gotta dry off my brush a little bit more. And 
and the paint is still a little bit wet so it will blend a little bit with the next color And you might want to do, you know, a second coat. So it could just be like a rough draft. Um, when, you know, this could be a rough draft. And when you do your second coat, you can, you know, touch up some of the places or kind of change the size a little bit. And it'll look nice with a second coat. Um, I might make a second one. And, and glitter like in this pattern like so if you let this dry and then you went over these with like glitter glue I've done a tutorial like that or I think I did a live stream like that probably over a year ago um, where I did like a um, glitter glue tie-dye situation and I think that could be fun on this design as well so here is orange And if you wanted to minimize um, like how much it blends, you could let your paint dry more. But I'm just like taking it and like sw swiping it, if you will. Doesn't take a whole lot of skill, in my personal opinion. If I can do it, you could do it. I'm not like the greatest painter. I'm gonna start turn this a little bit. You could always like look at a tie-dye shirt or something, a tie-dye piece of fabric or a picture um, if you were feeling like you needed a visual of what it's supposed to look like. You know, you can always um, just open up a photo and see what you think. So if you guys are just hopping on, I'm painting a tie-dye with the neon flippin' awesome paints. And I am, this cup is base coated with universal gray. Um, I did, I prepped this cup, I sanded, and I did two coats of the universal gray. I highly recommend for the neons um, and for any of the lighter flippin' awesome paints, honestly. Um, base coating it with universal gray will is really it's awesome it helps these colors pop on that first coat a lot more than if you were to do them on stainless steel like this will probably I'll do probably two coats but if I was doing it on stainless I would probably need four coats which is just annoying when you could do two quick coats of the universal gray and cut down um how long that it would take you And you can do any color combinations. Obviously, I'm doing the neons right now, but you could do, you know, you could do like a pastel. Um, you could do other flippin' awesome paints that aren't neon. You know, they have like a gazillion colors. Um, it could be really fun to play around with what you're trying to do. So I am also starting out and pulling in because if I went the other way, I would get a lot more of the previous color. You know what I mean? Like if I started in the middle and went out, there'd be a lot more orange mixed in 
which isn't necessarily bad, but I don't want a ton of mixing um, for mine. So I'm going out and in, and it's still blending for sure, but it just kind of minimizes how much it blends. Whoop, that's a little bit big, but that's okay. And how big you need your, like, each color section really depends on the size of your cup. Like, I'm honestly not 100% sure. This is my first time um, using this tumbler style, so we're gonna see. And I love the tumbler style, I've just never used it. So I'm so, we're gonna see. After I finish this yellow, you guys, I will check in if you have questions. I feel like I've been kind of ignoring the chat, but that's like what happens when I paint because this is like very taking my focus, but I'm trying to go quickly too, because like if I spend too much time here, like I'm going to try too hard to like perfect this when really... It's like, there's nothing perfect about a tie-dye. I'm just gonna extend some of these. These are like really uniform. To kind of bring that out. Okay. Let me see, I am a terrible painter and I wanna do things like this so bad, but I'm always too scared to get started. It's like I've already decided I failed. Okay, Lexi, look, I'm doing this right now and I promise you, like, this is not, it, I don't think it looks bad, I think it looks pretty good. This is, this design is a lot easier than like a swirl tie-dye, so I would start there. Do this design. You know what, Lexi, I'm gonna message me on Instagram and I'll make sure you do it because I have faith in you. But you gotta try it. And you know what? You don't have to show anybody. You could just do it. You could take like a piece of paper, like a piece of copy paper and try it. And then you could throw it in the garbage. Like you could just totally practice. It doesn't have to be like, it could just be for you. So you can do it. Um. Okay, just placed my order for Universal Grey and the pigments. Patty, you are going to love it. Audrey, um, you can use acrylic paints. Just be careful with them. Just the, the chemical makeup of acrylic, they take a really long time to dry. So if you're going to do it, um, you're going to need to let it dry like several days. Um, several days before you do anything on top of it. It could cause some issues just because of the nature of acrylic paint. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with my green. Okay, so I think I've got green, blue, and purple. So I think we're going to be good here. I think I'm doing okay with um, the size. We'll see. I love this neon green. It's so great. Maybe that's a little too high up, but that's okay. probably turn this okay if you have would you recommend using universal gray over universal white for all of your cups yeah so Kim what I've been doing is I just base coat all of my tumblers in universal gray oh let me move this you can't see it I've been base coating all of my tumblers in universal gray and then if I want to like paint them a color, I will do that after. So like I like batch my prep. So like I'll just sand a bunch of tumblers like 
all at once and then I'll base coat them all too. So I will do it with, um, I'll do it with um, Universal Gray because any of the lighter flippin' Awesome paints are a lot better um, over the Universal Gray. They just need a little bit of the, like, they need a lighter background to do better if you want to take less coats. So, and the finish of the Universal Gray is, like, really nice. Like, Universal White is really hard to get, like, a solid, um, solid white. So, even if I did need a solid, solid white tumbler, I generally am going to use spray paint anyway. Um, so I really like the Universal Gray. I'm a big fan. I wonder what Becky thinks of this tumbler because I'm going to give it to her. Hopefully she likes it. Um, okay. There was another question. If you have universal white and universal black already, oh, do you need the universal gray? Um, need, no, but it really depends if you have, honestly, okay, universal white is great. Universal white is great. It's a great base coat. Um, you can totally prep your cups with universal white. It doesn't give as good coverage as the universal gray, but you could totally do it. And you could absolutely just mix like a teeny tiny bit of the black in with that. Or if you have the black pigment, you can mix it in with your universal white. And like, so it's like, it's, I mean, this is gray, but it's like really, really white. Like it's barely gray, <laughs> hardly gray. Um, so yeah, you could totally use what you have um, to kind of create your own. I kind of go in and blend this a little bit in a couple spots. Have some kind of like t um, hard, hard, uh, hard, harsh lines. Okay, all right. Looking good. It's looking good. It's a little bit. It looks a lot lighter um, because of all my lights here than it does in person, so it's not quite as like, it looks like super neon, like super, super neon. So make sure you guys follow me on Instagram because I will post um, a picture of this right after we get off this live. Um, and yay, oh, I love you guys. Okay. Universal gray is just another base paint. It just gives better coverage than universal white. So like the universal white is kind of streaky. I can't, this has water in it, but it's like kind of streaky. Um, when you do universal white and the universal gray, it's just really, really nice. So I like it. I like it. Um, it's worth it to me. I have a lot of universal white, so I still use it mostly to mix up my own paints though. And I just have been really sticking with the universal gray for my base coats. Okay. Oh, I hear a child running around. So if she comes down here, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, okay. So I'm going to go in with this blue. I got, I think I got to zoom out a little bit. This cup is kind of big. Um, and then I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with it. Like, I might do, like, a cheat glitter um, or just, like, maybe mix in a little glitter with my grand finale just to give it a little bit of shimmer. Um, I think that could be really cool. So this is the Bluebird. This is not a neon. This is a Bluebird. Um, but it's, like, a really, it's a nice blue. It looks good with the neons. Oops. 
Um, there's they have other blue paints too. Like they have like um, a lighter blue, or you could mix up your own blue if you wanted to, if you have the pigments. The brush, this brush is working really well. I'm just, it's like a really small um, brush. I'm gonna have to figure out what we're gonna do on the other side. Because we still have a lot of, a lot of real estate on the other side. So I think we'll have to just do the same thing on the back. Although I think I'll let this dry first. So I can like, I don't have to worry about it. Um, getting messed up. Let me know what you guys think in the chat. If you think I should just do another one, it'll be smaller. It'll have to be a little smaller. Um, and I might not get all the colors in. That's the only concern, but I guess it doesn't really matter. It'll still look cool. So I basically base coat all of my tumblers with the Flippin' Awesome paints these days. I spray paint sometimes, but I'm in the Chicago area, so coming up here pretty soon. Um, I can't really spray paint because it's going to be too cold and windy and raining and everything. So that's why I really like the flipping awesome paints, but you can also, you know, mix up your own colors if you have the pigments or you can like mix the paints together. Like I just did with, to get the purple, although I don't like that purple. So I think we're going to have to think about this here. plan will be so I'm like almost like like flicking this paintbrush like to get like a good brush stroke because if I don't here, let me see if I can get this closer like where you put down your brush and if you just go this way like you can see the brush stroke coming out but Oh, well, I just messed it up, but that's okay. Like, you want to, like, get it that, like, texture. So you can go both directions to kind of give it that look. That, that good tie-dye brush look. And you don't want to use, like, you don't want too much paint loaded on the brush either. So loving, loving the blue, loving this blue. Okay, I'm going to put this down because now I really have to decide what purple I want to do. So let me see. Hmm. Hmm. All right, I'm just gonna take this piece of paper right here and paint a little bit of this blue. And then I'm gonna see 
what I like. I forgot to shake this one up. Um, hello, Karen from Atlanta. Hello, Sherry from, ooh, Sacramento, 115 degrees. That's hot. Here it is, 66, 66 degrees here. Um, <laughs> be safe. Those temps. Okay, so here is the Purple Delight. So that's what it would look like on the cup with the Purple Delight. Um, we could also try to just to lighten up the purple delight even like this one I think is definitely too dark. So the one I mixed up at the beginning is really, really pretty, really pretty. If you want like a deep plum color, highly recommend, but I think it's a little too dark for this tumbler. Although I think I like it better next to the blue than the purple delight. But maybe, right, what do you guys think? I think this one looks better, but it's going to dry even darker. So I think it might be a little too dark for the final, for the final tumbler. But maybe, maybe if we start with Purple Delight, just a little bit in here, and add a little bit of the neon pink maybe this maybe this will be our maybe this will be our ticket i don't know to kind of lighten it up give it kind of like a neon base if you will Okay, Dev says, Dev agrees to lighten the purple. I know this purple is like, that's better, that's better. Skip purple and go back to pink. I could do that, I could do that. It is your cup after all. Let me add a little bit more um, pink to this and see how it looks. And I'm gonna add also a little bit of gray. All right, so the neon pink mixed with purple delight is definitely, this is definitely better. I like this color and a little bit of gray is helping it even more get it to kind of just, I don't know, I just need it a little bit lighter. To go with the rest of the tumbler, I mean, all of these look good with the blue, but okay, so now here's this one. I think that's a lot better lighter. I think we'll go with it. Oh, I gotta mix this up just a little bit more. Okay, great, great. Kim loves it. Does Becky love it? Does Becky love it? Because that's the one who needs to love it. No, I, I want to do the purple because then if I come back the other way with other colors, I don't know if I'm going to make it to purple. So then it'll kind of all flow together. Okay. Is this the right brush that I was using? I don't think it was. Doesn't matter. Okay. So I'm going to take this purple all the way to the top 
over here, um, but then kind of taper it down because like whatever colors I get to, um, it will kind of fill in. It'll fill in. I think this purple looks really good. I'm really excited. Thank you guys for sticking with me through that and helping me out. That's why, one of the reasons why I love this live stream so much, um, it just, I just always feel like I walk away learning and as well as hopefully you guys too. Um, And that's sort of why I love the um, design challenge that I'm going to host next week. I felt like the the first time we did it was, I want to say Feb maybe January. And it was just like everybody coming together, sharing their ideas and bouncing ideas off of each other and getting inspiration from each other. It's just like a super fun week. So I did share the link to join in the chat. I can share it again before we hop off. But those of you who were there last time, if you guys, you guys can probably speak to it as well. You know, it's just like, it's good. You'll walk away with like five or more ideas for tumblers. And it's really good time of the year because if you're looking to make some for the holidays, or maybe you really want to start um, leaning in and doing and selling your work. You know, it'll just give you some ideas of what you can make and where to what to do next. Okay, I'm gonna try to this tumbler so big. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna go like this. So my thoughts for what else I'm going to do for this tumbler is like, I'm, I think I'm going to do a second coat. This like coral in the middle here looks like it could use another coat. I might even like just kind of touch it up in a few places. I might not do like a full on second coat. I think I might just like kind of wear some of these meat. Like, you know, put a little bit more green in here and a little bit more orange. I feel like right here, there's not a lot of that orange. So I think that I might just touch up with individual colors. Um, this is really zoomed in. Can we give your eyes a little bit of a break here. Um, just to kind of like, you know, transition through the colors a little bit. Um, I might do like a... Like I said, I might do like a cheat glitter where I um, just sprinkle on some like opaque or no transparent white glitter. So it'll still show the tie dye, but also make it sparkly. Um, I hate covering up like designs like this, like one, you work so hard to make it, and, like, the whole point of this tumbler was to make a neon tie-dye tumbler, so I don't want to do too much where any glitter will take it away. So, okay, Lexi says, I love this live stream because I learn and I also simultaneously work on my own crafts because it forces me to set some time aside. I absolutely love that. I love that. Sometimes it's just what you need, you know, just sit down and, and focus a little bit. It's hard to do, definitely hard to do, but I'm glad you're here. Okay, I'm gonna try, okay, let's see. I'm gonna go like this now. I agree that, don't you guys think this purple turned out good? 
I always say with, especially with tumblers, like that first paint I mixed up was, it's a fine paint, it, it was just not what I need for this tumbler. And instead of being like, oh, I failed, I messed up, like now I know, and I would have never like tried to mix the neon paint, you know, if I hadn't messed it up first. So just keep that in mind if you're scared to try it and make it, you know. You always learn something even if it doesn't turn out. I'm not 100% sure what I'm gonna do on the bottom, but for now I think I'll just kinda go like this. Oh, you guys can't even see that. There we have it. So I think what I'll do, I don't know, maybe I'll just go in and like, maybe I'll just start over, you know, and kind of fill this in through the back. I guess it did tighten up a little bit more than I thought. So maybe I'll just go in now with the, the pink and the coral and the orange and maybe like, it'll be like yellow, like, It'll be like, okay, it'll be like pink, coral, orange, and like this is coming in, so like this V will be like yellow and green. Maybe that's kind of what I'll do. Let me know what you guys think. What do you guys think? Should I do that? I could do it right now. I could keep going. Um, I could keep going. Although getting hard to hard to hold so we're gonna <laughs> hope I don't mess it up um, I think that's what I'm gonna do let me know what you guys think and oh Kelsey's here that's okay I already showed your tumbler already but you missed it um, that was my other neon one okay so let's go in with the pink we're gonna hope for the best. So we'll go back in with the pink right here. And we'll just go and see where the colors meet, you know? Just see where, see where we get to. Looks good next to the purple. Liking it, liking it. This one is interesting because, I don't know if you guys can even see it, but like going over the purple, you, know, you can see the purple a little bit through the, the, the pink because it's a little bit more transparent than the purple. So it might be a spot where when I touch it up later, I just kind of add, <coughs> oh, excuse me, add in, you know, a few more of the like swishes of purple. The style of tumbler is fun though. I like, I like, I just like always use the skinnies, but it's fun to try something new. And see how, you know, different designs look. 
on different shaped tumblers. I'm just gonna bring it down on the bottom. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see how that comes together. And we'll do this side. Okay, in a second, if you guys have questions, make sure you're putting them in the chat. I will answer them in a second. <laughs> I cannot focus on more than one thing at one time. I hope you can understand. So I think it looks so good and I'm excited to have a little bit more of the coral and the orange on the back because I feel like I didn't get a lot of that in the middle. Okay, sorry, let me check questions here. Um, okay, I love this tumbler. It reminds me of Le the Lisa Frank stuff I had as a kid, right? I agree. Um, Kim says she never wants the live streams to end. Me either. Me either. I'm so glad you're here. I'm so glad all of you are here. Okay. I really love the curved tumblers. I just wish I knew how to template them for wraps. Yeah. I think the hard thing about doing a wrap is that you really wouldn't be able to wrap the whole thing, but you could do it in two pieces or you could like, if you wanted it to like overlap, like you could wrap it to like here and then do glitter on the bottom. You could do that too. Um, okay. Karen, let makes the beginning. Oh yeah, it's universal gray, but you could spray paint or um, do universal white. It doesn't really matter. I did two, I sanded to prep and then I did two coats of the universal gray. The paint, oh, this paint is from the Crystalac Company. These are their neon flippin' awesome paints. They're really awesome. All of I love all of the flippin' awesome paints. But these ones are the neons. They're pretty new. Just came out like, I don't know, not that long ago. Um, but there's a link to the Crystal Act website, um, in the description of this live stream. So you can use that link to shop. So it looks like we'll do, um, coral and orange and then we'll finish up the top and the bottom with the last few colors and I don't know I might not even get much orange towards the bottom here
but it's going quick now. <laughs> We're almost done. And I'm just using a small paintbrush from Michaels, nothing fancy. You can use whatever you have. Whatever you have. Okay, the colors are gorgeous. Oh, thank you. Will you seal this before adding grand finale? I will not. I will not seal it. I'm just going to let it dry. Um, I might do a second coat of some of these neons. I just kind of have to see how it looks after it dries. Um, but I might add a second coat of the neons. I don't think I'm going to do like a full, like, full-on second coat like this coral will probably need a second coat and then I will probably just kind of touch up some of the like I think honestly I think I'll just touch up the coral and maybe the yellow but the green blue purple and pink look really good and then I'll just let it dry and then I have to decide what I'm gonna do you know about glitter and whatnot, but I'm just going to, whatever I do, I'm just going to do it next. Um, the only thing I would do, like, if you weren't going to um, put any glitter on it, you absolutely don't have to put any glitter on it, but if you were going to put a decal on, I would do, like, three coats of Grand Finale before you did that. It just, I was getting nervous that, like, the transfer tape can pull up, you know, paint and stuff. As long as you let it dry really well, like at least overnight, you should be fine. But I always, always, always do three coats of Grand Finale or Bright Tone, whatever you're using at this point, before I add any decals. Like I did this one right here. I put vinyl on it um, on top of the power wash. I did three coats of Grand Finale before I added my decals um, because the transfer tape will pull up spray paint. Um, so you just, you want to... Um, just be careful. You don't want all of your hard work to get ruined, you know? Okay. Um, I used the neons this weekend to do some paint splatter. Ooh, that's so fun. I've been wanting to do that. I have like a black, I have a black water bottle that I've been wanting to do um, paint splatter with. And I just like haven't, haven't done it. But maybe I will. Maybe I will. This is inspiring me just keep playing with the neons they're fun it's fun there's something quite therapeutic about just painting so even if you're nervous you guys I recommend you you just try it you can't get better you can't get better if you don't practice and that goes for making tumblers as well and painting and adding glitter every step of the way but like the painting itself you got to practice you know I'm not great at it but this tumbler's turning out all right I feel like um, a tie-dye is like a low barrier to you know and a low barrier to entry because they're supposed to look messy you know So it looks like the orange is going to fill in down here. So I'll just do like yellow green up here at the top. I was nervous about my ability to <laughs> space this out properly, but I feel like it's working okay. I'll 
just add a little to the bottom. Not 100% sure how this is all gonna work out, but I'll probably just like meet the colors in the middle or maybe even like do an, oh, your own little tie dye around the bottom. You could do that too. Um, okay. Red, orange, yellow. <laughs> I'm like, what are the colors of the rainbow? So this side's starting to dry. If you hopped on late, we did this whole tumbler here tonight. Um, started on one side and just now meeting on the back. So the whole tumbler is covered. I'm just going to do a little bit more here. I'm going to do yellow and green. Um, and maybe do like a little bit of blue on the end. But I don't know. We're just going to have to see. I am loving the neons. Yay, me too. I might need to go back in with orange up here. I guess I could just do it like that. All right. So do you guys have any questions? Do you guys have any questions? I feel like I've been neglecting asking you guys questions, but I'm just so focused on painting. If it if this was your tumbler, if you made one, what would you do next? Let me know in the chat. What would you do next? Would you add glitter? Would you just go no glitter? Um, I think a matte finish could be really cool on this. Um, let me know what you would do. What kind of decal would you do? I'm curious. I'm curious. And if you do make one, you guys got to make sure that you if you post it you tag me or if you don't post it send it to me like in message it to me on instagram because i want to see all of your creations so here we are with the green matte finish could be awesome yes yeah, so i have a black cup and love to see what the splatter is yeah so like if you like took a like a toothbrush, dipped it in your green, and just like splattered it on your black just to get like paint drops, um, I think the neons would look really cool. That's what I'm gonna do. Okay, we would say no glitter, cheat glitter, cheat glitter. Yeah, so I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do. Def I, I'm gonna put glitter on it. I'm gonna put glitter on it, but I think I'm just gonna do like a very like light amount. So just so it's a little sparkly. I'll have to ask my friend Becky though. It's her cup. Um, what she wants. Oops, sorry guys. So there we go. Here we are. I kind of wish I had some on the bottom, but that's okay. I'll let it go. i let it go. I think it looks really cool. Cheek glitter would give it such pretty shimmer. That's my thought too. And I will video the process so you guys can see, you know, how I add glitter and do it with, I don't, I haven't done it with grand finale yet, but I'm going to do, you know, the same way I would have done it with bright tone, but, um, yeah. So I think it looks really good. Um, do I have a recommendation for a good cheek glitter? So, okay. It really depends what you want to do, but, um, I really like the opal glass from, um, Glitter Dip Sips, but there's this, 
hold on, sorry. This epoxy additive, um, that is a super fine, hold on, let me see if I can get this to, oh, it's not working, okay. Anyway, it's, it's just an epoxy additive, it's like .004, so a regular, like, super fine glitter is .008. Um, I like to use this because it's like a, almost like a powder, um, and it's just white and really pretty. Um, so this is what I use a lot. This one is from Painted Valley Designs, Painted Valley Designs, but wherever you buy your glitter, um, if you, you know, you like to get it from the same place or whatever, they probably have an epoxy additive, and you can just add it in with your um, grand finale. So I will video the process and share it. But do you guys have any questions? I'm gonna let this dry. Well, it's eight o'clock, so I'm gonna let it dry overnight, but let it dry for two, uh, four hours, and then I'm just gonna touch up some of these um, colors, mostly the coral and the orange, um, just to you know make them a little bit more vibrant. I might bring in a little bit of blue, just to, to um, you know, make it look cool at the transition points. Um, but I will video the process and make sure that you're following me on Instagram so you can see how it turns out. And if you are interested, as soon as we get off this live stream, make sure you check out the five day, no, the four day, it's only four days, um, Tumblr design challenge if you are looking for inspiration and after four days having a list and a plan of at least five tumblers for you to make. Um, and we're gonna talk about how to mix and match colors, how to bring a whole design together um, on a tumbler. So if you're really wanting some inspiration on designing, this, um, this is the week for you. It's gonna be next week. It's a really, really great. You're gonna learn a lot. So hopefully I will see you there and I will see you guys next week. As always, make sure you follow me on Instagram. Feel free to message me if you have any questions at all. I hope you enjoy your week.